Lexi and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a Goodwill haul for you. <sighs> it was maybe the best shopping day at Goodwill that I've ever had. In this one store I spent more money in this one store than I've ever spent before. It's like $280. Um, but I got a lot of stuff. I got some really, really, really good items. And then some of that stuff was also for myself, which I'm not going to show you in this haul because I don't even know where they are. I got like a basket. I got um, my kids some shoes. Yeah, so there's like a few things that you're not going to see to add up to the 280 but I'm going to show you what I'm going to sell. So um, let's just jump into it because it's a lot and I don't want this video to be like crazy long. Um, so we're just going to do some hard goods. So I picked these up. Look at this guy. And he's so cute. It is Holiday Creations. Um, 1993. I actually picked up a second one. Aren't they cute too? Oh, look at you. They're so cute. So when I first saw them and I touched them, I thought that they were animatronics. Um, I thought that this Santa's moved. And animatronic Santas can do pretty well. I looked them up and I called them animatronic Santas and this brand animatronic Santas were doing really good um like 40 50 60 dollars and I was like winners because these were five a piece um then you know I get them home and I put batteries in them and I turn them on and they're just musical boxes and the columns for those are like 20 to 25 dollars it's fine. I sell things all the time that I pay $5 for and I sell for $20. So it's not that big of a deal. My son has his eyes on them though. So I might end up keeping them. This one, the sound is really good. And this lights up right here. This one, the sound is really terrible. And it's actually broken. I know I started y'all off like, oh my God, it's a great haul. And then I show you this. But <laughs> I promise it gets better. Um, so yeah, I'm not on, I'm on the fence about it. Like I love the vintage look of them. My kid loves them. I might keep them. Or I might try to sell them. Or I might do both. Um, so we're just gonna get into shoes because they're right here. I did pretty I got a lot of shoes. <laughs> so I've got these kids' vans. They're like Mary Jane style and they're so precious. Um, I'm hoping to sell them for like 2025. Uh, these were kind of a last minute pickup. I saw them and I was like, those are good. And they were only eight. There's some born chunky heel sandals from black leather. There you go. Pretty cute. Um, for kids shoes. I had a lot of kids shoes. Um, these I'm excited about. I did pay up for them, but I'm hoping I can do well. They are Twisted X. I paid 10 for them. <laughs> um, but comps were looking like 50, so I'll be happy to pay 10 and sell them for 40 or 50. Um, then I got some Chacos. Classic style black Chacos. Um, these are size hmm, women's nine. So hopefully these will sell for like 30 or 40. Um, I have stuff everywhere <laughs> because some of this stuff has been listed and some hasn't and I don't want to like confuse myself and mix up what has been listed or whatever. So, just grab this. Okay, um, okay, so I got this for myself. It is this beautiful, um, crocheted, what I think it used to be a rug because it has like these cool things here. Um, but I picked it up to use as a tree skirt because these, oh, this like vintage -y, like color. I love it. And it's perfect for my Christmas. So pick that up for myself. I think it was five. Um, I've got these fairies. Amazing condition. And these are for toddlers and they don't tie. You actually can do that. The hook and loop. So cute. I actually bought a pair of Sperry's for my kid as well. I just don't have them with me. Um, so for those, I'm hoping about 20 bucks. Okay, and I think that's all of the shoes except for these. <laughs> I 
I, huh, I could not believe when I saw them. Like they were up there. This was one of the last things I found. Okay, so they've been there the whole time. And I like saw them and I was like, and I grabbed them so fast. And then like the first thing I thought of, um, which you would know why if you watch one of my previous hauls, um, I thought they were fake because I was recently scammed. But I spent a lot of time researching these in the store. Way more than I had the Birkenstocks that I got caught on. Um, and a lot of, like it has a lot to do with this. Like it's, they're made in China. If you ever find them that say made in the USA, they are not, they're made in China. And there's like it, a texture and it's like shimmery. Um, and then there was some other things that I uh, looked at. Like the stitching and stuff like that. And how the bottom looked. And I was like, yeah, they're real. They're real. Oh my god, they're real. Um, now, I did pay $25 for them. But in case you don't know, Rothy's are completely machine washable. They're, they're made from like recycled bottles. And the actual Rothy's.com cannot keep stocked. So people are always buying them secondhand. Um, and they retail for like $150 to $170, I think. And they will resell for $100 and up. Um, so, I mean, they definitely are ones that are like $60, $70, um, $80. But I'm hoping I get about $100 for these. They are, um, you see how the extreme the angle is here? It means that they shrunk so I got some shoe trees which let me show you what that is I actually picked up these at a good at the goodwill for 99 cents this is a shoe tree um, and they're different sized ones okay so you can't just buy like it's not one fits all but you like squeeze it in and you put it in and it's going to help stretch this out and then I'm going to steam it but I'm first I'm gonna wash these in cold water in my washing machine and then air dry them before I do that but I also sent these, and I'll link her below. I sent pictures to this girl who authenticates them for free. She doesn't give you, like, she, it's not like a guarantee, like, she's going to give you a certificate. But it definitely made me feel much better knowing that she looked at all the pictures. And the pictures are intense. Let me just <laughs> forewarn you about that. Um, it made me feel better once she looked at the pictures. And she's the one that said, yes, they're real. And, and explained that they were shrunk about half a size. So... I'm excited to get these up. I just, I can't believe I found them here where I live. I'm like, what? Okay. Okay, so we'll get into some kids' clothes. I went through all the kids' clothes. Um, so I found a few things. This is a Disney store. There's a really cute princess graphic tee. It's like burnout style. Size 7, 8, medium. So I'm hoping to get like 15 bucks. This is Hannah Anderson, which is a great kids brand. It is a cute sweater dress. It's like a three toddler, that 80 centimeters is three toddler. I'm um, hoping to get 20. This is Mud Pie. I just couldn't pass it up. Because look at this little <laughs> bug and then it opens. Look how cute. I mean, I probably get like 10 for that if I'm lucky. Um, oh, I have more shoes. Okay. I forgot about these. So these are Vans Black Panther shoes and they're like never worn. They had stickers inside. I took the stickers. Oh, there's one of them. I mean, it actually says that they were samples, um, but they're five, baby, size five. They're super cute. I would maybe get like 15, 24. Um, I got another Hannah Anderson girl's dress this one is a four toddler and it is so cute because it has snails and mushrooms all over it and it's kind of like Henley style it's just precious crew cuts is the kids brand of j crew i had seen this several times never picked it up i went ahead and picked it up on this day just because it was cute and i this was strictly style it is Bella du jour girls, but like, look at these poodles. Look at them, they're so cute. I couldn't say no, it was so cute. So, you know, if I can get, with my kids' clothes, if I can get 15 to $20, unless it's like a super good brand, then I'm good. Even if I only sell it for like 10, I'm still okay. Um, they're really cute things, and I don't want them to just like, go bad. I also have this, I forgot. 
that I had these. This is all stuff already listed. Look at these. Oshkosh Bagosh overalls. They are not vintage, unfortunately. Vintage ones do really well, but they're really good quality. They've got the snaps, and they're thick, so I picked them up. These are size 18 months. Oh, oh my goodness, y'all. I'm a mess. Okay, and then this was fun, and I haven't listed it yet, and I'm missing the pants. Okay. Um, I just haven't listed it yet, but it is a vintage two-piece, like, sweatsuit for a little baby. And it's like western. It's got look how cute and the fringe. It's kid country. Um, infant size medium, 19 to 22 pounds. It is so cute. This I'm probably gonna price a little higher, like 30-ish range. Um, these were in the kids section, so I got charge kid prices, but they are just LuLaRoe one size, but they're the medical field leggings for like a nurse, a doctor, and I thought they were fun. They actually, um, their sold through rate is not these exact prints. I actually couldn't find this exact one, which is always a good thing, but medical ones actually have a pretty good sell through rate. Um, so I decided to pick it up, especially since it was on the kids section. So I got them for like three bucks. Um, so now we're going to get into the clothing is that it oh wait wait wait. last thing <laughs> um so this these were in this bag for like four dollars there was a bunch of different ones and they have um uh, christmas ornaments and so i these eight all match and they look like they're like hand sewn and they have like button embellishments they're so cute like here's a partridge with a pear on it i don't know there's Santa. So, um, I have these listed for 25. There's eight of them. Okay, so we'll just start in the back here. Um, I picked these up because they were embroidered. And I've been doing really good with embroidered jeans. They are embroidered skinny jeans from Democracy, which I have sold. Um, this is the Seamless Ankle Skimmer, size 6. I have sold this brand before. I did pay up $8. I didn't realized I was this was one of the last things I picked up um I've sold this brand before but it's always been plus size um but like I said I have been doing really well with like embellished and embroidered jeans like selling really quickly so I thought I would just try them out um didn't know I was paying up for them until I got them home but it happens it's fine okay so this dress I looked at so many times when we're buying it like every trip I went I looked at it it is this vintage daisies print dress and oh I just ha I had to finally just pick it up it is um options by Worthington 8 petite it's got a little bit of shoulder pads in there and but um zips up the back and it's got a tie in the back and it's just the perfect 90s vintage and I wish I could fit in it because I would wear this all the time so hopefully someone else feels the same way about it oh so I've got this is Myrtle Wood of Hollywood which I did not know um is a mod cloth brand I saw this it looked nice the tag looked nice I looked it up and it came up as mod cloth this is 1x which is another reason why I purchased it but it is a um a dress with pockets <laughs> sleeveless um a-line dress i did pay up seven dollars for it it's got the zipper in the back um and it is lined and it is just so cute and these dresses are just not made for anybody with some stuff up top but it's cute this was like i was blah, 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 blah. i was really excited about this um, because people talk about Hawaiian dresses all the time. And this is Hilo Hattie. Hilo Hattie. Um, the Hawaiian original. is 2X and it is a Hawaiian style dress. It is so beautiful with this like beautiful red floral pattern on it. Is that a hole? It might be a little hole. 
it's okay um i'm still hoping to get like i was hoping to get like 50 but maybe like 30 or 40. okay so this was a fun find and i haven't looked up comps on this exact one but i have high hopes for helmet lang size 10. this dress was not marked up this dress was just the regular 5.99 now it does have some issues oh that was a nice catch say so myself see here it's got some wear but I'm thinking I'm just going to move it a little tighter and you know disclose the wear but show that you can move it tighter and not even notice and then there's a little mark somewhere right around here that I'm gonna try and just get out but helmet laying is like a really expensive I am a mess like and then I want to say I'm a mess in this video but I'm a mess in every video so I'm sorry Helmet Lang's a really nice designer and their stuff goes for a lot. So I'm hoping that this is like a $70 dress. Am I reaching too high? Probably so. We're going to see. I was excited to find it. Okay, this was also an really exciting find because it's my first modern Johnny Woods piece that I've ever found. And it's so pretty. It's embroidered um, plaid tunic um pop over tunic dress i guess it could just be a dress depends on how tall you are it's, it's a dress on me oh my god it's so pretty so i mean i think this is like 40 or 50 dollars i don't know it wasn't priced up because my store doesn't know anything about johnny was so um these are things i already listed now oh this might be the prettiest christmas sweater i've ever found look at how gorgeous it is like it's great for someone who wants to go to an ugly christmas sweater party but they want to be pretty then they can have this beautiful beautiful thing it's vintage carly saint Clair, and it is a medium i have it listed at 35 i think okay so this is lauren ralph lauren size four um and i have heard that they are wrap dresses which is this is a faux wrap dress it's got like this little knot right here um do really well for career wear and i just thought this one was classic boat neck with the cream ivory white and black um so i picked it up and i have it listed i think at 40 or 45 Um, I probably shouldn't have picked this one up, but they did charge me a kid price on it because they thought it was the kid's dress, so it was $3. Numph, which can be sold at Anthro or Mod Cloth, and then this is just printed tunic. This is super cute. I think I only have for like 18 Um, this I also only have for 18 but these tend to do really well for me, like quickly. It's a life is good, and this one says be beautiful with the flower. Um, this one was just in really good condition. Like, there's no cracking at all. Um, and it's a women's small. I think I have this one for 18 as well. This thing is so cute. Look at this vest, y'all. I am a sucker for vintage Halloween holiday stuff. So, look at Santa. He's in jammies. Um, so, yeah, this is just a vintage Christmas vest by Nutcracker which is a pretty good brand for Christmas stuff I mean I say pretty good brand their their stuff seems to be really cute and it's a size 18w I think I have it for like 25 maybe 18 um so this trip I actually went through all of the men's stuff and I normally don't um and I picked up a couple things but it wasn't the great stuff but I did find this Warner Brothers Studio Store, 1996, I think. Taz Golf Polo in great condition. I think I have it listed for 30 or 35. Another men's piece, which I haven't listed yet because it needs to be steamed. The North Face XL. Just a plaid button up. But I'm hoping, you know, to about 2025. This was a nice surprise because um, it actually was worn by a celebrity. This is Sparrow, which is an anthro brand, size small. Um, I can't remember what it's called, um, but it's got the flutter sleeve. It's a sweater knit. And Taylor Swift wore this dress in the show Valentine's Day, which at this point is 
um, aged, you know, it's a few years old at this point, but um, I was able to find that picture and put it with it, and I think I have it for 45 This was a nice piece that I, this set that I haven't listed yet, but it is Talbot's size, what is it, 12? Yeah, um, and it's a tweed skirt and top. Let me see here. I just wanna see what it's made of, what the material is. Cotton polyester and spandex. Um, the set was $9, so. Um, I, comps were looking like 50, so I'm hoping that's the case. Okay, so this, they also charged me kids size because it was in the kids department. And I don't really know why, but it is, um, Ultra Cashmere by Midori, size 6. That's how I knew, well, the arms is actually how I knew because I was like, kids don't have arms like that. Um, but it. Sorry, my camera like cut off. So I think it's an adult. I don't think, I don't know. What do y'all think? <sighs> the more I look at it, the more I just don't know. Is this kids or is it adult? Cause it could be a kid six. I sure can't try it on cause I'm nowhere near any six. <laughs> anyway, it's very soft. Like it is cashmere and it is amazingly soft and it is an amazing condition. Um, and I'm gonna have to do some measurements and kind of see if it's like what I'm I thought the arms were too long for it to be an adult or for it to be kids but then that's pretty short so maybe it is kids maybe it is a kids size six what do, what do y'all think let me know in the comments what you think because I haven't listed it yet because I don't really know all right I think this is the last last thing I'm still on the fence about if I should have picked it up, but I'm just gonna pass it up because it was so cool. And I did pay $12 for it or $13 for it, but it is this vintage two-piece set. And I think it looks vintage like 40s. I think it has like that art deco thing. My mom didn't seem to think so quite as much. Um, but the brand is Manhattan Plaza, which I have not looked up. Size 12, it like says look for and remove pins like how cool is that um, but it snaps and buttons like this and then the skirt just pulls on so um, it is missing a belt which I didn't realize until I got home um, so I'm kind of convinced about that if I should cut it off or if I should tell them that it's missing a belt I need to look it up I need to research this more I was not prepared I'm sorry Okay, so that is what I got. Like I said, there are a few things that um, went into like the $280 that, that's my dog, I'm sorry, that uh, I didn't show you, like um, a big basket, some shoes for my kid. There was like a few other things, but I still think I did pretty good for everything that I got. Um, it was a solid four hours in the store to find all this stuff. Um, there was also like a Toad & Co dress, which if you watch me actually thrifting, you'll see the Toad & Co dress and it sold within 30 minutes so I don't have it to show you because it is on its way to its new owner um so yeah it was a great day it was a great haul and I'm really excited to get the rest of this listed and see how it does so thank you so much for watching be sure to say hi in the comments give me a thumbs up and I'll see y'all next time bye <laughs>